Ready to get better fuel economy out of your minivan? I've got a bunch of tips that'll help you out. The first one is leave a little bit early. If you can, I know this is tough, but if you can put in five or 10 minutes in that schedule so that you've got some cushion and you're not always rushing, you're not always stomping on the pedal, you're not always trying to make up time, you will be a more efficient driver and your MPGs will go up. So build some time at your schedule, take the stress away, leave early which brings us to two before you leave especially on a big trip you want to check your tire pressure you don't need to do this every day or every week maybe you do it once a month but if you keep your tire pressure up to spec yep you can keep your mpgs up as well if you're not sure what your tire pressure should be set at check inside the driver's door there's usually a sticker that'll tell you the pressures for the front and rear tires and they can differ the numbers on the sidewall of the tire aren't the recommended values for your vehicle. So use the numbers inside the door, not the ones on the tire. You can go a bit higher than what's on the door usually, but you should never go above what's on the sidewall. Number three, that luggage rack. It's tempting. You got a bunch of stuff to carry. You don't want to carry it inside the cabin. So you put it up on the roof. And what is that too? It creates wind resistance it creates drag and drag lowers your fuel economy because it's harder to push that big van through the air with extra stuff sitting on the roof so the luggage rack use it only as a last resort fit everything inside the cabin that you possibly can number four and this is a big one if your minivan has an instant mpg gauge an instantaneous fuel economy gauge whatever it's called use it Turn it on and use it. Now there are two types of fuel economy gauges in cars usually, an instant gauge and an average gauge. The average gauge will let you track over time. The instant gauge will let you keep an eye on things at the moment. And when you watch that instant gauge, you learn how to drive efficiently. Now I've got videos that'll help with that, but basically turn that instant MPG gauge on, keep an eye on it as you're driving and learn how to lighten up your foot. The display in this 2015 Chrysler Town & Country shows both the average and the instant at the same time. Great stuff. Number five, avoid the drive through Oh, I know it's tempting. You just wanna get those burgers and fries into the kids and get on the road, but you know what? When you're sitting there in a the drive through you're idling, you're burning gas, and your MPGs are going down. The kids are fighting in the back seat. No one's happy. I say, park it, go in, get your food, eat, take some of the stress off, avoid all that garbage hitting the inside of the car and the mustard and ketchup in the carpet, and everyone will be happier in the long run. Number six, take the scenic route. Avoid stop and go traffic whenever you can, because that light, that stop sign, that stop and go, it just lowers your fuel economy. Look on your nav system or online before you leave for routes that will avoid those heavy traffic situations. If you can stay off the interstate and on the back roads with a 45 to 55 mile an hour limit, do so by all means as long as you have the time. Lower cruising speeds equal higher MPGs. Number seven, keep it up. You need to maintain your minivan. Don't let things go. If you see a check engine light on, find out what it is. You can go to an auto parts store and they can read it for you for free, or you can get an app for your phone and a dongle that plugs into your OBD port, and that'll let you know what it is before you bring it to a shop. But address those issues, because a 30 fuel injection system, that'll lower your fuel economy. Other things will lower your fuel economy are bad alignment, dragging brakes, there's a lot of stuff. When you change your oil, use a full synthetic. And when it's time to replace your tires, look for a high quality set of low rolling resistance tires. So keep your car up, take care of the basics, and you'll be ahead of the game. The last thing is keep track of your mileage. Now some newer vehicles have really extravagant stuff built into the navigation system that tracks your fills and gives you nice charts. Most cars don't have that yet. 
Now, if you use your average gauge and reset it every time you fill, then you'll get a nice tank average. You can write that down in your little book. Keeping track of stuff is important. You can use Fuelly.com. That's one of my faves. Go to Fuelly.com and you can track every fill and see how you do over time. And the last thing I'm going to add is if your vehicle does not have an instant fuel economy gauge, you can add one. There's a number of ways to do this. The easiest one you can do is the Autometer Ecometer. It plugs into the OBD port underneath the dash. Little gauge pops in with some double stick tape. Fits into your interior nicely, integrates well. Super easy to do. If you don't have an instant gauge, you can add one to any minivan made after 1996. Alternatively, you can run an app on your phone, but you're going to need a dongle, again, that plugs into your OBD port. That's it for now. Check into the How to Get Better Gas Mileage playlist, and you'll find lots of tips to crank up those miles. Stay tuned.